Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Klomperens, and I've created this presentation to inform you about my next educational tour, which will take place during spring break of the 2017-2018 school year, which is March 31st to April 8th, 2018. I developed a passion for travel when I had the opportunity to spend a summer of college at Oxford University in England. I traveled all over England and Scotland during that summer, and I loved it so much that I brought my wife back there for our honeymoon. Although most of my trips begin and end in Rome, just last spring break, I had the chance to return to London with a few of my ISC students. This coming trip will be my 11th to Europe and my 8th trip touring with students. I chose my new itinerary because I wanted to give students a taste of the three most popular and spectacular destinations in Italy, Rome, Venice, and Florence. Also, I noted that this tour was jam-packed with sites and activities, partly because of the fast trains taking us between the three main destinations. International travel has expanded the experience and worldview of every one of my students who has had the chance to travel with me. Without exception, they tell me the experience was worth every dollar and that they would do it again in a second. There's something about traveling in Europe that develops independence and confidence in young people. After a trip like this, they feel like there's nothing they can't accomplish. It also makes them more marketable because they can tell employers and colleges that they have experienced other world cultures firsthand. I'm so impressed with the effect of travel on my students that I've taken my three oldest children with me on tour, and I plan to bring my 14-year-old daughter, Trinity, on this tour with me. This will be my fifth trip with Explorica, and I love this company. They treat their teachers and students like gold. The tour directors who accompany us throughout the tour love children as much as they love teaching. They do everything in their power to make the travel experience amazing and unique for every student. Often parents worry about safety when it comes to international travel. After 11 European trips, with one to Istanbul and one to Paris just last spring, I can say confidently that Europe is at least as safe, if not safer, than the United States. We have problems right here in the U.S., and it's much more likely that we'll all get struck by lightning than that, and then that anything would happen to us on a trip to Italy. When you experience the streets of Rome with literally thousands, and that's not an exaggeration, thousands of middle school and high school students from touring companies like Explorica crowding the streets with us, the fears and apprehensions that we might feel uh, here in the U.S. just melt away as we see how normal it is for even middle schoolers, 13-year-olders, 14-year-old kids, uh, to travel and experience European culture with confidence. Explorica has offices and support all over the world. We'll have a full-time professional tour director who's a native of Europe with us the whole trip. If there's ever a problem, the most common of which that I've experienced has been travel sickness and dehydration, uh, people just not drink enough water. Um, but when we do have those problems, the solution isn't far away at all. Because this is a private tour and not run through the school district, well, which won't, they will not run any kind of international trips, um, it's important to note that Explorica has comprehensive liability coverage, as well as a affordable individual travel protection plans for our students, and you'll hear about those individual plans a little bit later. On this trip, we'll visit the Vatican, the home of St. Peter's Basilica, the largest church in the world, as well as the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo's masterpiece, and the unparalleled Vatican museums uh, with works of art, uh, which are priceless. We'll see Florence's famous Duomo, a word which in Italian just means the dome. Uh, Florence is the center of the Italian Renaissance, the workplace of Michelangelo, Raphael, and da Vinci. So there's no better place for art in the world than Florence. We'll also see the Colosseum, the most iconic of Roman sites, both outside and in. And on the very first day of our tour, we'll take a walk around the famous Trevi Fountain, toss in a coin, and enjoy our first gelato in Rome. And hopefully every day will be another gelato day. Here are a few photos from some of my past tours 
we'll see some of these places. I threw in a few others just to give you a feel for different parts of Europe. In the upper left, you can see my group, which visited Pompeii and the south of Italy. My daughter is kneeling to my left in the front row. In the, the upper right, you'll see a group of mine which visited northern Italy. The picture is of Siena, and we will visit that lovely Tuscan city on our tour. The lower pictures show my wife and me in front of the Arch of Constantine in Rome, which we'll see, and the Parthenon in Greece, which we won't see, but you can come on a trip uh, at a future time when I go to Greece. Uh, in the upper left of this slide, you can see one of my previous groups in, inside the Colosseum. For most of the major sites like the Colosseum, we'll have professional guides to teach us all about the interesting history and culture of everything that we see. In the upper right picture, you see another of my tour groups with St. Peter's Dome, designed by Michelangelo, in the background. The bottom two photos show the Roman Forum, which we'll visit on day two, and a boat ride around the island of Capri, which you'll uh, have to see on a future Italy trip, because uh, Capri is not a part of this one. Okay, here on this slide is the tour itinerary. You can pause the video at this point if you want to read the details. I'll just give you a bit of commentary. The first day of our trip is our flight day. Generally, we check in at SeaTac around noon and fly from Seattle to a destination like Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, and that takes about nine hours. Uh, there, we'll switch planes and finish our journey with a two-hour flight to Rome. The first flight is long, but there are plenty of movies to watch, and uh, the international planes are much more comfortable than the domestic planes, uh, so I find that time goes pretty quickly. The first day in Rome is spent walking around the city and enjoying the famous Spanish Steps, the Pantheon, the Piazza Navona, and the Trevi Fountain. We'll have our first gelato and our first authentic meal in Italy on that day. Uh, after dinner, exhaustion will set in, and even the most excited and energetic of our teens will want to go to bed. On the third day, we'll visit the ancient parts of the city, like the Forum and the Colosseum, while on the fourth day, we'll visit the neighborhoods across the Tiber River uh, around the Vatican and Vatican City. That's also the evening when we'll board our fast train bound for Venice. The fifth day is packed with visits around the canals of Venice and all the spectacular sights of that medieval city. The sixth, seventh, and eighth days are all spent in beautiful Tuscany with the art of Florence and the medieval towers of San Gimignano and Siena as highlights. On the ninth day, we say ciao to Rome and make our way back to Seattle, arriving only a few hours after our Roman departure time because of the many time zones that we'll fly across. It's a great itinerary at a perfect pace. That's one reason I chose it. I know the kids and adults will appreciate it. Sometimes it can be hard to capture the tour experience with words alone. So here's a three minute video to give you a feel of the full tour experience. This video is focused just on the city of Rome. I'm very glad that you're starting your exploration of Rome with this building. I am very it's like one of my favorite buildings ever. Rome as a whole is just like, oh, it's, it's like history and like embodied. In Latin class or in history class when you read these books yeah. and you like read about these people and you think, oh my gosh, they were here. Yeah. Like they walked here. This is, We've walked the same path. This is so amazing. Guys. I mean, <laughs> a man who walks a thousand miles to wind up at your door. Da -da -da. The 
the Spanish steps. Piazza Spagna, named after the Spanish Embassy to the Holy See, is located at the bottom. It's 136 steps and they're a very popular meeting place for Romans. Rome itself, I love Roman history, so just imagining like being in the Pantheon and imagining what it would have been like to be a Roman and to walk the streets and everything. You know, every city has a history, but it doesn't have one that's so ingrained in your brain in school. Um, so it was really interesting to kind of plant yourself in the history that is Rome. And I ate like most of my body weight in gelato. Kit Kat. Chocolate and mint chocolate. Kit Kat and strawberry. Coconut and tiramisu. Cream caramel and strawberry. Peanut butter on Nutella. Mint and Zupa Inglese. It's perfect. There's nothing better than Italian food. But my favorite thing is the Vatican. Headed to the Vatican. Excited to see the Sistine Chapel. Oh, beautiful masterpiece by Michelangelo. Super excited. But to actually see it in real life, and it's, it's just, it's breathtaking. Perfect, let's go guys. We have a lot of dance for you. Everything's cool when you're part of the team. I was able to come on the trip and make friends and relate to people. Everybody's in the same scenario you are. They all want, um, want to learn and they're all here for the same exact reasons usually. Here it's, it's move around, see, learn, learn, learn. Um, it's amazing how much we can actually do in a day. I didn't think it was actually possible. Being a history person, I thought that was really cool to like plant myself in a completely different culture. Explorica did a good job of like allowing us to be a part of a culture. You're not just stuck in your little high school bubble. Brings the uh, history you learn to life. While on tour, our director will regularly post to our official online tour diary, including photos and descriptions of the day's activities. You'll probably have so many instant messages and Snapchats and texts and Instagrams from your kids that this tour diary is unnecessary, but it's nice to know that it's there just in case. The value of an Explorica tour is amazing. On CheapTickets.com, I just looked up the price of a round-trip ticket to Rome, and the average, according to the site, was $2,060 just for the round-trip ticket. Uh, Explorica is able to run a tour like ours, including uh, the airfare, trains, buses, hotel rooms, guides, the tour director, breakfast, and dinner for around $3,000. I don't know how they're able to offer so much for so little. Um, if you tried to plan a trip like this one on your own, which I have done, you'd get half of the features for double the price, which I did when I tried it. I'll never do that again. Now I know that Explorica is definitely the way to go. Tours like this are fun, uh, but there's also an educational benefit to them. In fact, the educational benefit probably outweighs the fun or may, is at least equal. By completing a few assignments before and after the tour, like a photo journal, students can earn high school credit for free and up to five credits through Eastern Washington University for a small fee per credit. Um, you can check the uh, Explorica.com website for details about the um, college credit. While the price for the tour is as low as it could be, it's still a lot, a lot of money. My wife and I just bought our daughter her first used car, and it cost almost exactly the same as this tour costs. However, the memories of our last trip to Italy with my daughter are worth 10 times uh, more than that old car. And Explorica actually makes it easy to pay for the trip. My favorite is the automatic payment plan. If there's ever an automatic payment plan for something... I sign up for that. 
pretty much every bill I pay is automatic payment. But if it's easier for you, there's also a quarterly plan available where you uh, pay manually uh, at each quarter. And of course, if you finance the trip through your bank uh, or if you have the cash, which not a lot of us do, then you can simply pay in a, a lump sum. Explorica makes it easy for your child to create fundraiser pages, which is a new feature. And also there is a financial assistance plan for low-income families and uh, you can apply online. The application is completely confidential. Uh, I don't find out who has applied or who has received a benefit and uh, the benefit is a discount to the tour price. Uh, in short, Explorica has really tried hard to make international travel accessible to everyone regardless of uh, income. When I went to Oxford for a summer, it was entirely on student loans, which I paid off over the years after I graduated. I never regretted borrowing that, that money, not even for a day. I was, it was one of the best things I did. For a trip like this, if the payment plans are too steep for your budget, there are many longer term borrowing options. Uh, my credit union offers personal loans for up to $5,000 at 5% 5 interest. A lot of other credit unions and banks do the same thing. Home equity lines of credit usually offer even longer terms and lower rates. Uh, I'm telling you stuff that you guys probably already know. And if your child is motivated, a few babysitting jobs or house cleanings or maintenance projects per month, let alone if they get a regular job at a local business around Marysville, they could easily net half of the monthly payment or even the whole thing. But if they do make half, uh, that leaves only eighty-seven fifty for the parents to cover each month. There are so many ways to pay for a trip like this. It ultimately comes down to how motivated a child is to make it happen. Uh, if you want to insure your investment on this trip, Explorica also offers plans for that. These are entirely optional, but recommended in order to give you peace of mind while planning the trip and while your kids are um, out enjoying uh, the education and fun of the trip. Enrolling in the tour is incredibly easy. You can go to explorica.com and then type in my last name, check the slide for spelling, and then dash 3954. The e that's the easiest way. Do it online. A second option is to call Explorica directly at 1-888-310-7121. A third option is to complete a paper application and return it by mail. But uh, I don't think anybody in the history of signing up for these trips has ever done that. Um, so if you do want to enroll, I suggest going online or just give them a call. Our price on this tour is guaranteed until the end of this month. Uh, friends and family members are welcome. I, I think for every trip I've ever taken, I've always had an older relative, um, whether it's a sibling or a mom or dad or a grandma or a grandpa or an aunt or an uncle, accompany us on, accompany us on the tour. And they are absolutely 100% welcome. To save your spot and lock in the incredibly low tour price that, we, that we've gotten, all you need is a $50 deposit. Uh, you don't need your first payment. Uh, the address for the registration page is explorica.com forward slash clomperens dash 3954, as you see on the slide. I'm looking forward to traveling with all of you. I hope that everyone who's watching this video can, can come along. These tr trips are the highlight of my teaching year, and I hope to have a large group with me in Italy in 2018. Please email me if you have any questions. Uh, there are no dumb questions. Uh, most of you guys have not. Uh, sent your children on a trip like this, and I'm sure you're full of questions. So um, send them my way, or you can come to the informational open house that I'm going to have uh, in the coming week, uh, and I'll be happy to answer all of your travel questions in person there. Thank you so much for watching.